Hello, my name is Melissa and welcome to Teach, Read, Play. In today's video, I will be exploring some of the strategies that you can use to make times tables fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe and turn notifications on to see more content like this. So, let's get into it. Sometimes children find learning timetables a real drag. And for parents and practitioners and teachers, we can also find this really consuming and also quite a challenging concept to teach to our pupils. So in today's video, we're going to explore the different ways that we can make it fun and engaging to learn times tables. So, top tip number one. Make times tables fun and engaging through games. So there are a number of different games that you can use to help make timetables really fun. So one of our first games are to play star jump timetables. So take your children outside or your child outside and play star jumps with the chosen timetable. So you might start doing star jumps counting in twos, fives, tens, threes. So each time they do that star jump, they are counting up in that number. This is a really great way for children to become mindful of the numbers that they're counting in and also keeping it active and engaging, a really fun game. Another game that you might want to use to help children learn their timetable is by using resources in your house to count up in. Now you can use any resources in your house, but for instance, if you were starting off with the two times tables, it's really easy to find things in your home that are paired in twos. Some things that are paired in twos are socks, gloves. These are great ways to start exploring counting in twos. So when you're putting the laundry away, you might want to get your child to say, right, quickly, you've got to grab them in pairs of two and then tell me how many we have. Start getting your child to pair up the socks in twos reinforcing and counting in twos as you go. You could then give them 30 seconds to work out how many pairs of socks there are in the house. That's a great strategy to help children uh, be infused to learn their timetables. Another way that you can help children learn their timetables by keeping it fun and engaging is by playing a game called Find Me The Answer. So if you're in a classroom, you want to give children a range of resources. So half of your class, you want to give them um, little cards with times tables in. So on your card or your piece of paper, you want to write the mathematical equation, like two times three, or 10 times five, or 12 times six. So half of your class have those times tables, and the other half of your class have the answers. You then give children five minutes to explore, have a little run around, see if they can find their partner with the correct answer. And then you can get them to feedback in the end of the session. You could also, to make it a little bit more challenging, throw in some answers that are not accurate. So, for instance, if you're only focusing on the two times tables and the ten times tables, you're always going to have even numbers. But why not throw in the odd, odd number, like 31, to see if the children can find the odd one out. They can then bring this to the front at the end of the session and say, this is the odd one out and prove it. A prove it challenge is a great way to develop mastery math skills. Here, they have to say, well, this one will never be the answer to any of the two and 10 times tables because it's an odd number. This is a really great way to also reinforce number knowledge as well as times table knowledge. Another game that you can play in the classroom is called Around the World. So children start off by moving around the classroom. So firstly, they're all sat down, one child will stand up, and you will then call out the times table. Whoever answers first, the person standing up behind that child or the person sitting down wins. And then if the person who sat down wins, they stand up and the child needs to make it around all of the pupils in the class to become the winner. 
Now, I've done this lots of times at school and put on some music to really challenge it and have like a tournament across the class. The children absolutely love it. Another game that you might like to try with your children is ping pong. So imagine it in your classroom or at home, uh, pretending to have your little table tennis ping pong game with your children. So you want to bat, uh, bat and ball the answer back and forth. So here you can start off with saying two times four and you want them to bat it back to you and shout eight, 10 times two, 20. Three times five, 15. And you want to bat and ball it all the way back. The children absolutely love the imaginary concept in this game and it's really, really fun. Why not also throw some balls into a ball pit? Label some of them with the correct answers to the two times table. Get your children to dive in, see if they can find the correct answers and then get them out and label them up and put them in the correct order. If they are missing one, this is a great way to start saying, well, oh, I can see that your times tables go from 16 to 20, but we're working on our two times tables. Have you missed one out? See if you can spot the difference. So these are just some fun ways that you can create a really fun and engaging way to learn times tables. In addition to this, you might also want to add the use of iPads and use some apps as well to reinforce time table knowledge. One of my favourites is Time Tables Rockstars. I hope that you enjoyed this video. See you later.